Imagine a weapon that could fly for days, even weeks without ever stopping to refuel. A missile that could circle the globe multiple times, hidden beneath the radar, before striking its target with a nuclear warhead. Sounds like something out of a science fiction movie, right? But this is not fiction, this is Russia's Burevestnik nuclear-powered cruise missile. Today, on Global Defense Zone, we're diving deep into one of the most mysterious and terrifying weapons ever built a weapon that could change the balance of global power forever. Before we begin, if you're passionate about military technology, global defense updates, and the most powerful weapons in the world, make sure to subscribe to Global Defense Zone hit the like button, and share this video with your friends. And I want you to stay with me until the end because what you're about to hear will shock you. Also, don't forget to tell us in the comments what you think about this missile. Do you believe it will change the future of warfare? And let us know which topic we should cover in our next video. Whichever topic gets the most comments, we'll make it next. The Bureau of Esnik also known by its NATO reporting name SSC X 9 Skyfall, is not just another missile in Russia's arsenal. This is a completely different beast. It is nuclear powered, which means it doesn't rely on conventional fuel to stay in the air. Instead, it carries a small nuclear reactor that continuously generates power, allowing it to stay airborne for an almost unlimited amount of time. In theory, this missile could fly around the Earth for months, constantly changing its route, making it nearly impossible to predict or intercept. That alone is a terrifying concept for any military planner. The origins of the Burevestnik date back to the renewed arms race between Russia and the West in the mid-2010s. After the United States withdrew from the Anti-Ballistic Missile Treaty and began deploying missile defense systems across Europe, Russia started looking for ways to bypass these defenses. Traditional ballistic missiles could be intercepted by modern anti-missile shields like the American THAAD or Aegis systems. But what if there was a missile that didn't follow predictable ballistic trajectories? What if it could fly low, under the radar, using unpredictable paths and never running out of fuel? That was the question Russian engineers sought to answer and the Burevestnik was their chilling response. The missile's name, Burevestnik, translates to Storm Petrel, a bird that thrives in the harshest of weather conditions, often seen as a harbinger of storms. The name is fitting because this missile is meant to bring the storm the storm of nuclear devastation anywhere on Earth. Unlike traditional cruise missiles that have a limited range, the nuclear propulsion system inside the Burevestnik gives it an almost mythical capability. Infinite range. This means it can take the long way around the globe, approaching targets from unexpected directions, making defense systems almost useless. Now, let's talk about how this missile works. A nuclear-powered cruise missile like the Bureau Vesnik is equipped with a miniature nuclear reactor that heats air entering the engine, which is then expelled at high speed to generate thrust. Since the reactor can operate for years without refueling, the missile is not limited by fuel tanks or weight constraints in the same way conventional missiles are. This gives it not just endurance, but also the flexibility to fly complex, evasive routes to avoid interception. Imagine a missile launched from deep inside Russian territory, flying over the Arctic, skimming low over oceans, weaving through mountain ranges, and finally appearing out of nowhere to strike its target thousands of miles away that's the nightmare scenario for NATO commanders. But it's not just the range that's frightening, it's the payload. The Burevestnik is designed to carry a nuclear warhead, possibly in the range of hundreds of kilotons, enough to wipe out an entire city in seconds. Combine that with its ability to loiter near enemy airspace, waiting for the perfect moment to strike, and you have a weapon that forces adversaries to live under constant tension. The psychological effect of knowing that such a missile could be somewhere above you, unseen and undetected, is a weapon in itself. Testing the Burevestnik has not been without controversy. Russia has conducted multiple tests since 2017, with mixed results. In 2019, an accident during a test in the Arkhangelsk region caused a deadly explosion, 
killing several Russian scientists and releasing radiation into the surrounding area. Western intelligence agencies believe this was linked to the Burevestnik program, and it served as a reminder of just how risky and unstable such advanced weapons can be. Despite these setbacks, Russia has continued to develop the missile, suggesting that they see it as a critical part of their future strategic arsenal. From the perspective of military strategy, the Burevestnik is a nightmare for the United States and NATO. Current missile defense systems are designed to intercept ballistic missiles that follow predictable high arc trajectories or conventional cruise missiles with limited endurance. The Burevestnik's unpredictable flight paths and virtually unlimited range render these systems far less effective. It could fly over the South Pole to hit the United States from a direction with minimal radar coverage, or it could approach European targets from the Atlantic, bypassing land-based defenses entirely. Globally, the reaction to the Burevestnik has been one of deep concern. Experts warn that it represents a dangerous escalation in the arms race. While traditional nuclear weapons are already devastating, the introduction of a missile with unlimited range changes the entire strategic equation. It means that no place on Earth is truly safe, and it puts pressure on all nations to rethink their defensive postures. Some analysts have even compared it to the launch of Sputnik in 1957, a technological shockwave that forces the rest of the world to play catch-up. One of the most disturbing aspects of the Burevestnik is its potential for stealth and surprise. A nuclear-powered missile could remain airborne in international airspace for extended periods, effectively acting as a doomsday drone, ready to strike at a moment's notice. This blurs the line between peacetime and wartime, creating an environment of constant uncertainty and fear. It could also be used as a form of nuclear blackmail, with a nation threatening to keep such a missile on standby near an adversary's borders. But is the Burevestnik truly a game-changer, or is it more of a psychological weapon? That's something I want you, our viewers, to tell me in the comments. Do you believe that this missile will actually be deployed in large numbers, or is it mainly a tool for political intimidation? And if it is deployed, what impact do you think it will have on global stability? Will it trigger a new wave of missile development by other nations, or will it push countries to negotiate new arms control agreements? Your opinion matters, and I read every comment so share your thoughts below. As we wrap up, let's remember that the Burevestnik is not just a missile, it's a symbol of the new era of warfare we are entering. An era where the boundaries between land, sea, air, and space are becoming increasingly blurred. An era where technology is pushing the limits of what's possible, and where the risks of miscalculation are higher than ever. Whether you see it as a defensive measure or an offensive threat, there's no denying that the Burevestnik nuclear-powered cruise missile is one of the most significant and dangerous weapons of our time. Thank you for watching Global Defense Zone. If you enjoyed this video and want to stay informed about the latest in global military technology, make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video. And don't forget tell us in the comments which topic we should cover in our next video. The topic with the most comments will be our next deep dive. Until next time, stay safe, stay informed, and keep your eyes on the skies because somewhere out there, the storm might already be coming.